Hi, it's Florian, and in this video I want to talk about why I think that German engineering is in decline. So if you're interested why I think so, stay tuned. I'm an engineer myself for now uh, 15 years. Um, I've been in different roles and positions from software engineering uh, to project management to uh, engineering management and leadership. And uh, I've seen a lot of things that I didn't like and a lot of developments that I think are negative for German engineering and uh, will in the end cost, of our, cost us our reputation of being good engineers and also cost us our uh, economical strengths to a, different, to a specific degree. So what do I think is wrong? Uh, it's basically three major topics. It's education, it is the industry itself together with politics and it's the attitude of the engineers and, and uh, the German people uh, towards engineering. I'm going to address all three of them and uh, you can make up your mind if you agree or not. The first thing is education. So I've uh, done a PhD and during that I was uh, involved a lot in education of, of um, young engineers and I saw how the education system changed and uh, it still changes. Uh, one thing that changed is that we had uh, great engineers because of the great education they got. We had a two-level um, system. One was universities and one was called Fachhochschule. So it's, it was uh, neither a five-year degree with more um, scientific background or a four-year degree with more practical background. And that worked pretty fine, basically, since I don't know how many years, at least since the Second World War, maybe even longer. And we changed it into a bachelor and master's uh, system, which is now totally strange, because now you have these two levels still and you have bachelors and masters coming from both levels and that is very very strange um, we also got more students into university so uh, the, the the number of people we want to educate with an university degree increased but the quality of course did not increase because the number of i would say people who can become good engineers who are interested in it who are, are capable of doing it it doesn't grow if the popula population doesn't grow it stays basically constant so we actually increased the, the number of, uh, of, of students that we want to have in engineering disciplines. But of course, the quality didn't increase of the students. So what we did is we decreased the quality of the of, and, and also how, how hard these um, uh, studies are. So we decreased um, the quality of what we do. We increased the quantity of, of people, but we decreased the quality of um our education system and that is one major drawback that we did um, it's it's not necessary to have uh, a huge amount of engineers it's necessary to have good engineers and if you uh, have a if you decrease the um, the level of your education system that's always bad and we did that over time and uh, we not only that we also um, have a tendency now that parents of students get much more involved not only in their uh, life at, at school but also in their life at university and that is very very strange because it takes away the I would say um, self-confidence of people and also the, the individuality and independence which is very important that you have an independent lifestyle when you start working that's also not the case anymore for some I wouldn't say for all but for some people so we uh, basically messed up our education system. What we still do quite well is educate people after they come from university. So um, one strength that we have and that we, I hope, keep is that we educate the people who come from university very good in how they become good engineers uh, with all the process stuff and all of that. But in general, we, we are messing up our education system and I don't see anyone doing anything about it. So it's going down and down and down. We get more and more students. We get less quality of the, of the education system out of it. And that's a very bad thing to happen. Well, that's number one where I think we, we could improve a lot, but we are not currently because, of course, a lot of students seem to be good. I don't know why, but it seems to be good that a lot of people can study, even if they shouldn't. Um, so, second thing is the industry itself. So, uh, as Germany, we are very, uh, I would say, known for our automotive industry, for our machine industry. Um, we have been known for our healthcare industry, but that we already messed up. So, that's already gone to a, a, a large degree. Um, and actually, the, the 
automotive industry is, is one that is next from my point of view. We are doing a lot of things from a political point of view to mess it up. So we are um, having all these environmental standards now that um, are much too strict. We are um, at the same time having subsidies for the industry that prevent them from really going somewhere else. And um, that is true for a lot of industries. So we messed up our industries with subsidies and with uh, keeping them where they are, keeping their prices high so that they can't compete on a global market. Uh, we did that with our solar industry. We completely destroyed our, our nuclear industry. We were very great in building nuclear power plants. We are not anymore um, because we got rid of all of it. Um, and, and actually Germans think that everyone got rid of it, but it's not true. People are building more and more nuclear power plants. We got rid of them. So we, we basically destroy our industry from a political point of view. And we destroy it with subsidies that we pay them. And of course, the, the major thing that, that prevents us from being great is that we invest in the companies as a, from a government point of view, but not in the technology. What you usually do is... Um, or if you want to have a, a good industry, is that as a state you invest into technologies. You do that in, especially in times of war, where you have to uh, build new technologies, and after that people uh, use these technologies and, and start new companies from them. And that's why we, we uh, were so prosperous after the Second World War. Uh, we had a lot of good educated people with no jobs, but a lot of knowledge about new technologies that helped us to go up. Same thing is true for uh, Silicon Valley. So they started the Apollo pro program. You need a lot of good people, paid a lot of money uh, without having to, to take care of the returns and that started the industry. But we are not doing that anymore in Germany. We are uh, investing in old technologies or maybe in some specific small new technologies, but not in fundamental things. That is a huge thing uh, that we do wrong together with um, a lot of regulations that I see, it's very hard to start a company, it's very hard to develop products. You have to do all this certification work from a CE certification point of view, where you have EMC certification, you have certifications for, uh, if you have conflict materials in your, uh, in your system, all of that. So there's a lot of things you have to do to release a product. And that prevents people who don't have the money yet to release products. So we prevent people from, from being successful as a startup or starting a new business. We have a lot of regulations uh, when it comes to our, our labor market that also prevent people from starting new companies. So we are not very intrapreneurial from, from uh, a government point of view. And that will also lead us on our way down. Uh, we have an industry that's declining, that's not innovative anymore. We have no innovators who can start companies and that will drive us over time down. Not, not uh, immediately, but over time we will be driven down. And the problem with that is that you actually um, are not able to set prices anymore. So as a German industry, we were able to set the prices for our machines because we were so good and we had such good machines that people were willing to pay a premium on what we sold them. If you have just go into a market where you have Me Too products, you take the prices. That means you, you compete on price. If you compete on price, um, you don't get as much money, which then leads to the whole economy getting poorer. You just need to imagine why is it that a bus driver in Germany earns more than a bus driver in, I don't know, Cambodia. And the reason is not that they have a different job or uh, that one works more than the other. The reason is that the whole economy in Germany generates more money because we can set prices much more. We have more competitive products than Cambodia has. And that's why the bus drivers in Cambodia also earn this money from a macroeconomic point of view. That's why it's very important to, to get your industry started and we are not doing that right. Uh, second thing that's wrong. Third thing is of course the attitude. So um, we were in a, or we are in a, in a situation where we generated a lot of money, a lot of wealth over the last 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, how long? I don't know, since the war start, uh, ended, we, we constantly generated cash and constantly generated wealth. And we generated a huge social security net, we generated uh, a lot of uh, labor-friendly or, or worker-friendly labor laws. Uh, we have high salaries, especially in the automotive industry for their core um, employees. And all of that uh, will decrease our market um, position over time because we will be too expensive. We will have much too high standards uh, to become competitive. 
once we go down the slope where we don't be we are not where we are not able to set prices anymore so i think that the attitude that people get from this uh security net that they always want to have more they always uh expect more from the government from the companies but not from themselves that is an issue that we have and that also prevents us from being really good entrepreneurs anymore um we don't have the need for it uh most actually most students who or many students who, who finish now their education uh, much more than in the years before uh, want to have a, a, a government job which is not something you want to have in your society of young people especially if you if you like long, young people you want to have them start new companies start new businesses generate cash generate money that maybe attracts other people who then um, work in your uh, economy we don't have that anymore so this uh, attitude that we have will uh, prevent us from grow, growing and will constantly uh, lead us on our, our way down uh, economically i don't know if it's bad from a from a um i would say happiness point of view i know that especially millennials uh, want to have a much better work-life balance than generations before um and that can also make you make you happy it doesn't make you rich uh, that's for sure if you want to become wealthy and rich you need to uh, do something for it but it, it might make you happier but in the end, the attitude is something that, that will also lead us on our way down. And I think all these three things, education, uh, our industry performance together with the government and all the regulations and the attitude that people have in Germany will over the, the next 20 years lead to a decline of our economy compared to other economies. Um, and that will also lead to a decline in wealth in Germany. I don't see anyone doing anything about it. So just to, to sum it up, we, um, we are on on our way down without really noticing it um, we want to start green new deals we want to have uh, big retirement programs whatever and all of that costs money and i guess we won't have the money or we will run out of money at, over time uh, when we do that because we don't generate it and i also think um, that we have a few possibilities it's not e-drive so people because we have the automotive industry we think e-drive would be our possibility i'm not so sure that it is I think the possibility that Germany has is uh, from an industrial point of view in automation. So automizing productions, uh, automizing um, industries, that's something where we are good at, where we are still good at and where we can still innovate without having to do so much fundamental um, development. I guess that's something we, we can really um, grow in. I don't know if we will. Um, I'm pretty sure that we will get into deep trouble in the next uh, 10 years uh, at least and in the next 20 it will be maybe too late um, because these things to, to fix them need time so to, it needs time to break them but it needs time to fix them I don't think we will fix them um, so bad for, for all the generations that, that follow me um, I hope we will maybe I'm wrong hopefully I'm wrong I don't know um, what do you think please write it in the comments if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. Have a good day. Goodbye.